Thank you for watching this short troubleshooting video. I'm going to show you two things. One is authentication trackers and the second one is how to collect support information in our plugin. Essentially authentication trackers are our internal way of keeping a single authentication process, all the information around it, together. And this is great for your own troubleshooting, but also in terms of uh, for our support if we need to help you um, somewhere. So, since you see everything from um, the first redirection to the IDP, to the IDP's response to how would our, what our plugin was doing with that information. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how to collect support information. And support information is essentially two things. It's your plugin's configuration, certainly without private keys and those things. Uh, but you can also include those authentication trackers I just talked about into that support information. And combining those two and sending them off to our support portal is just a great way to give us all the important information we need um, to help you troubleshoot and then also fix any configuration issues, any problems or bugs that you might have with our plugin. I'm now in our plugins configuration page on the system and support tab. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to generate a new authentication tracker. So you click on generate new tracker. And that gives you a link here. Just copy that link. And then down here, go on, click here to track this link. If I've done that, you actually see um, now the live tracker for a um, authentication tracker comes up. And as you can see at the moment, it's pretty empty because we haven't really done anything with this tracker yet. Just going to swap to a um, Chrome incognito window. And it's actually important that it's an incognito window or private browsing because that makes sure you're not authenticated against your IDP yet so that you can see the full redirection. So I'm going to paste the link now for this authentication tracker that I collected before and hit enter. Right, now you see it redirected me to our lab ADFS. And if I just quickly go back here, you can actually see that something has happened here. The status is in progress. Um, some of the is a sent request. And, and some of the messages you see using default IDP5, etc. So this now shows that we are in the middle of this authentication. Basically, uh, um, it shows that our plugin has redirected um, the unauthenticated user with this tracker ID over to the IDP. And if I go further, you see the summer request that we handed over to the IDP and some more information around it. Okay, so now I'm going to log in here. Now you see I'm logged into um, uh, Jira from the IDP. However, if I go back here again, you see it has updated. So the status is logged in, user ID CR, which is the user I used. And if I go further down, I can see the summer response from uh, the IDP, IDFS in our case. And if it would have been encrypted, uh, you would see the decrypted response. But you also see um, the information that our plugin extracted from that IDP. For example, the name ID, which is the username being CR, and some further attributes that have been sent by the IDP, like first name being Christian, last name being uh, Reichert, um, the IDP, relay state, etc. So this is a great source of information for us to have if we have to provide some uh, support to you. But it's also good for you to see what has been happening in a authentication. And um, for example, um, it also shows you, does the IDP send you all the attributes that you're expecting to use later on, etc. So if something went wrong here and you want support, then it's very easy now to uh, click here, collect support info with this tracker, and then actually download it. And I'm just gonna open that for a second. Now you see it's a JSON file that contains all of your configuration. Um, excluding um, private keys, certainly. Um, and it also then um, uh, contains the um, uh, tracker information. And if you attach that to a support request with us, 
it obviously is very easy for us to get already a lot of information um, what has been going on. So that's one way of creating a new tracker, doing an authentication, and then uh, creating um, support information for us. Now I'm going to show you a second way, which is we stay on the system and support tab. And um, if you didn't generate a new tracker or it's been before, um, then you can actually see uh, go to show list here. And I chose all the um, uh, login attempts or uh, successful logins over what the default is um, 24 hours. So you can now um, select, um, this was the one we just did. You can, for example, select that, select another one. And you can always certainly look at the um, uh, details, what was happening here. Um, and then you can select a couple of those trackers and then go to um, collect information here for support information. And that then creates um, the support information uh, with all those trackers um, you've just selected. So um, if things, if you have examples where different things go wrong, or if you have examples, um, oh, it worked two times, but not the third time, then you can actually use um, multiple authentication trackers um, and send that um, along with the um, support information. But you can also certainly just, even without a tracker, just say collect information and that at least gives us your configuration so far. So if you don't even get to the authentication step, just go to collect information that gives us the configuration as is, as far as you've gotten, um, so that we can then actually um, help you support you. As always, the links are in the video description. I can only urge you, if you have any problems, if you need any help, if you need help with a setup, have some questions, um, book a free setup session via Calendly. Um, it's a really simple way. It's a screen share between one of our engineers and yourselves. It's a really simple way to get this um, uh, started and get you up and running. And we're really happy to help you there. You can certainly always visit our documentation. And we also have, uh, under Get Help, a support portal uh, where you can raise a traditional um, support request. That's also a great way to submit the support information you collected here. So once again, thank you for your interest. Thanks for watching this and um, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you.